Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today we're talking about internet speed. Whether you use Wi-Fi or cellular data, whichever one you prefer using or you use the most on your iPhone, there are always things you can do to ensure that you get the most speed, get the fastest possible internet on your device or even if just your iPhone's connection is not that good, your internet speed is not that great, there are a few things you can do in order to help your iPhone get faster internet and of course faster cellular data on the device so you do things more easily and faster on your iPhone. First off, let's talk about Wi-Fi. Now, the first thing you want to do to make sure that your Wi-Fi is working at its best capabilities is go to your settings, go to your Wi-Fi, and then you will have your Wi-Fi connection there. Of course, you cannot do this for every Wi-Fi connection that you have, but you can do this for your home network, maybe your work, school, or whichever network you use the most. So you go to that network where you're connected and you tap the little I button that you see on the right side, and then it will show you the settings of that Wi-Fi connection. Now, the first thing I want you to do here is turn off low data mode. Now, low data mode will help you reduce the data usage of your iPhone. But of course, when it reduces the data usage of your iPhone, it will also reduce the speed of the internet because it just tries to use as less data as possible. Now, this might be useful on a like seller connection when you don't have a lot of seller data left if you have a limited plan but on wi-fi's make sure that you have this turned off that way your iphone's network will be at its best capabilities now the next thing you can do here is change the dns server of your iphone this might seem complicated for some users but it's actually not that complicated what you need to do is go right down here and go to configure dns it will be on automatic but you can switch to manual right here and you can add a server now you can add here multiple servers the ones that i suggest you use if you want to use them are the ones from google which is basically all eight so you tap right there it's a.a.a.8 or a.a.4.4 or the ones from cloudflare which are all one so 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 1 and you tap the save button and that way you will have those servers added to your iphone and that should actually improve the wi-fi speed quite a lot the next thing you want to do when you're trying to make sure that you have the best Wi-Fi connection on your iPhone is go to your settings, go under general, and then go down here to VPN and device management and make sure that you're not connected to a VPN network. So if you have any VPN apps installed on your iPhone, you might want to use them only when you actually need to use them. But if you have a VPN connection turned on all the time that will of course reduce the speed of your internet just try it out if you just want to try it out if you have a vpn connection try it out see how it works and how your wi-fi network will work without the vpn is a big big change so it doesn't matter if you have like one of the most popular vpn apps or just like a free vpn app don't actually use it all the time because the speed of internet is not that good at all and for the next tip, we're moving back into the Wi-Fi settings. So go to your Wi-Fi, go to the network that you're connected to, and at the top of the settings of that network, you will see something called forget this network. Now, we we'll want to do this if you think that the network connection is not that stable, it's not working properly, you just want to forget that network so it erases it, all the data saved from that network will be erased from your iPhone, and then you can reconnect it. If you're not sure about the passcode, you can always view the passcode right here and once you have done that you can just tap forget network and then reconnect to that network and it should solve quite a ton of problems now another thing you can do which is pretty simple but in some cases actually quite useful is rebooting the iphone now when you reboot your iphone a lot of things actually just seem to work better of course there will be resets that are done to the different chips on the iphones when you reboot them so if you just see that your wi-fi network is not that good make sure that you actually reboot your iphone and the last thing you want to do, but of course it's also a choice here, it's something that you can actually do, is reset the Wi-Fi, actually the network settings. You go to your settings, under general, go to transfer and reset iPhone. And from here, you can go ahead and reset, you tap on reset, it says right here, reset network settings. You will have to keep in mind 
that this will erase every network setting that you have on your iPhone. Your seller settings, your Wi-Fi passwords that you have saved, everything will actually be erased on your iPhone and all the network settings will be basically on their default. So if you want to do that, just notice that everything that you have saved on your Wi-Fi networks and all that will actually be deleted. And now let's talk about cellular data. Now cellular data and Wi-Fi are quite different when it comes to speed. With cellular network, you basically get that signal, get that network if you have good coverage and you will have good cellular data. The things that you wanna do here is make sure that no data goes to waste or nothing is using your data in the background. While you're trying to do something, you will have another process in the background using your cellular data, that way slowing down your connection. Now the first thing I suggest everyone does is go to settings under general here and then go to background app refresh. Now these are all the apps that have access and basically are allowed to refresh in the background. You can just go ahead and turn off here a lot of them that you probably don't need to be refreshing in the background. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just go right here and then you will have Wi-Fi. So you can just switch to Wi-Fi, which means that these apps will be refreshing on the background only when they are connected to the Wi-Fi network and not on cellular data. Moving on under the cellular settings. So go to settings under cellular. You will see right here a list of all the apps and how much cellular data they have used on your iPhone. So you will see here all the apps. You can go to show all. And it will show you here every app that has used your cellular data. Now what you can do from here is just go ahead and turn off a few apps if you don't want those apps to actually use your cellular data. So you will have the list here. Again, it shows you. You can sort here by app usage or by name. I suggest you sort by app usage so you will see the apps that use the most at the top right here. Then you can just go ahead and turn off any app here that you don't think you need to have seller data on that app especially things like a few games or things that will show a ton of ads those will consume a ton of seller data so make sure you turn those off another thing i suggest you do right here is turn off automatic downloads because they will happen even when you're connected to the seller data that way you might be doing something else on your iphone that is probably more important and you will have data being consumed in the background that way slowing down your iphone's data a lot so the first thing i suggest you do is go to the app store right here and you will have here automatic downloads so you will have here seller you can just turn that off for seller data so the automatic downloads will work while you're connected to Wi-Fi, but on cellular data, you can just turn them off with that switch right there, which is pretty useful. You turn that off and you're good to go. And the last few things that you can do to make sure that your cellular data connection is good is turn on airplane mode when you're not receiving good cellular coverage. Try the airplane mode trick, turn on airplane mode, and of course, then turn it off. And of course, make sure you always have your iPhone up to date. General right here under the software update make sure that you have the latest update on your iphone so you get all the fixes all the carrier updates that are really important and that way of course you make sure that you have the best seller coverage on your iphone so that's basically it for this video guys these are a few different tips and tricks that will help you increase the speed of your network whether you're using wi-fi or cellular data on your iphone hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did make sure to smash that like button of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one